over the next couple of hours. She'll be fine. She'll pick up. And she'll be back. So will Myra Aguilar. We look forward to seeing that particular matchup. Right, but this particular matchup is between the Olympic champion from Beijing at under 100 kilos, Naidan Tufchenbaya, and he faces Yevgenis Borodavko of Latvia. We're underway with the final of the men's under 100 kilos. Tufshin Bai, I wonder if he could emulate uh, what Ole Bischoff has done. Olympic champion and winning here in Paris. We had uh, the pair of them. No, um, well, yeah, Che Mino was here, but fighting at 60s. Going again, Yuko. Tufshin loves that Serenagi, doesn't he? <laughs> che Mino was uh, Olympic champion at 60, but moved up to 66, so he can't really... Uh, count him in that's not his weight that's not the weight category at which he won the Olympic championships this is Shiba's gone now uh, 73 we didn't have Mamadli Bischoff was was here 90 Sarah Kidzi we didn't have and even if we did he would have been fighting up at 100 100 so yeah just the pair because Ishii's retired so it was those two Bischoff and Tufshin Bayer who've stayed at their weights and both of them have made it to the final. We've already seen Bischoff win gold. Tufshin Bayer is leading here by Yuko. Borodavko fighting out of his skin today. This is a great performance from the, the Latvian, really. Everybody around him has got some kind of uh, pedigree at the really, really top level. And uh, he's done really well to mix it in this kind of company. Borodavko is the one who picks up the warning. He's also a Yuko down. 15th on the IJF world ranking list. The Mongolian is uh, just a couple of places ahead of him. Three places, in fact, in actual fact, at 12. So Borodavko doing his um, qualification prospects. No harm at all. He may even start sneaking close to that top eight, which is what they're all looking for. Naidan Tushin Bayer, well, after this, he definitely will be. What do they say when the going gets tough? Well, this turn from Tush, you couldn't finish off. He didn't really have uh, control of the top half. And this is a man who's not known for his Nivas. I wonder what kind of judoka he would have made if he'd, you know, polished off that particular aspect of, uh, of his game. On vous entend pas, merci, est-ce que vous êtes là On les encourage Oh, caught there. 
<laughs> He's thinking about it. Yuko. Still behind because uh, oh, that was um, the referee was just thinking, is he getting up? But uh, gave Borodavko the benefit of the doubt of connecting his technique with that of Naidan Tushinbaya. So that's the way that went. Naidan Tushinbaya still leading. Two to one. 20 odd seconds left to go. Well, the Mongolians are going to be happy. There's um, Baljin Yam. They are bronze medalists from uh, 1989 in Belgrade. Uh, I think he was a few kilos lighter than he is now. <laughs> they had two bronze medalists in that competition, 89. Baljin Yam and uh, Batulga. He got caught there. I mean, it was a, a neat little takedown. Yeah, yeah, that's a good counter, you see. It wasn't all over, was it? Just because he went down. It's that left hand on the leg that really does it. He's cute, two sheep. He knows how to um, he knows how to work his craft. Naidan Tuvshinbaya takes the gold medal. Ogata Akari of Japan just managing to see through a fringe. Audrey Chemio of France. <laughs> Kayla Harrison of the United States of America. 